what what's what is dark fi uh, and and like how how did this start how did you get into all of this <clears throat> yeah sure so uh dark fi it's a layer 1 um which has been custom built for anonymous applications um so you can using dark fi you can create and deploy um any kind of anonymous app um and what we mean by anonymity is like um you know, we have these major blockchains now at the moment, stuff like Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, on Bitcoin, it's what's called a UTXO model. So you can track the flow of funds through the through the network. It's pseudonymous. So it's like when you see a Bitcoin address, you don't necessarily know who owns it. Um, but using machine learning, uh, it's very easy to de-anonymize the flow of funds. Um, with Ethereum, uh, we have a different data structure. So it's what's called an account-based model, where all of the activity is aggregated on the one account. Um, so you could click someone's account and you can see everything that they've done, all the things they own, communities that they're part of, etc. And on Ethereum, uh, like in the Web3 kind of uh, space, there is uh, also an increasing tendency to link these accounts with social media profiles um, for example, by putting your, na your name, your wallet's a, a ENS as your Twitter name. Um, so DarkFi is different because it's a UTXO model like Bitcoin, except for in DarkFi, the link between transactions is completely broken. Um, and the way that we do that is by using a trick, uh, which is also used by Zcash. Uh, it's how Zcash does anonymous payments. It's called sapling and it involves a mint and burn step. So you're like breaking the link because there's actually minting on, on one side and burning on the other. Um, so uh, the um, so, so we extend that paradigm um, and make it programmable so you can deploy anonymous apps. That's the that's the, the quick version of, of what Darkfy is. But to, to answer your, your second question, like how this came about. Um, DarkFi has its origins in a 2013 project called Dark Wallet, which was the first ever coin join implementation uh, for a Bitcoin uh, wallet. And coin join um, was a or is a privacy technique um, that involves collecting. We were talking about Bitcoin inputs and outputs. It involves collecting inputs, mixing them up together. And so uh, it's it's your instead of just being completely linkable one transaction to the no, to another, you have a anonymity set of say five, depending on the implementation, other transactions that are mixed in that your uh, transaction could be part of. It's like harder to know the flow of funds. Uh, so contemporary examples of this include um um samurai wallet wasabi they're both coin join implementations the very first implementation was called dark wallet and it was a collaboration between amir taki um and cody wilson uh who like the 3d printed guns guy and uh, they first came, came up with this slogan which we still use which is let there be dark and the it, the, the logo that we have also comes from the dark wallet project um but Dark Wallet, it was it, they it reached a kind of a beta a prototype, um, but then basically the people behind it realized that um, the uh, it, the coin join anonymity uh, set is 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 too small. So like say you have an anonymity set of five, even if you have have an anonymity set of ten, it's still far too small. You, you need an anonymity set of infinity basically. Uh, in order to be like comfortable with that, uh, so you know, on DarkFi, the anonymity set is actually three, uh, sorry, two to the power of thirty-two. Um, and uh, anyway, so it's it's a much higher degree of anonymity, and um, that's the depth of the Merkle tree on on DarkFi. And uh, so so basically, in about um, Amir, like he 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 left, he went to Syria. Uh, he was working for many years on uh, testing like different 
ways to anonymize crypto. So like he, he made implementations of ring signatures, which Monero use. Um, he made an implementation of Mimblewimble, which turns out is not anonymous. Um, and he did uh, Bulletproofs. He made all these different implementations. Uh, in 2019, he implemented uh, the first kind of ZK uh, scheme. And, and he realized at that point that this ZK paradigm was actually extendable and you can make smart contracts. So it's not it's no longer just about payments or about anonym, anonym, anonymizing Bitcoin transactions, but it's actually about deploying anonymous apps. So the very first version of uh, of DarkFi um, came about in 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 like 2020, 2021. Uh, and uh, and you know, now we're at we're at the test net phase. So so it's been work in progress for many years and we're we're really close now to deploying a uh, a finished product.